Yeah, last time I told you that I will connect this device to the internet uh, using this type of device and actually it should last a quarter, about a week but it was so much fun that just I just finished it. So I'm gonna tell you what exactly has happened. Has been happened. Uh, the original PCB have the possibility to be connected to any device uh, using SPI uh, or UART and the other stuff so I can be connected with this CPU and this CPU can be connected with another device in such case it's gonna be this and uh, what have I done here I just changed the firmware in, in, on, the, on the, our PCB in, in our CPU uh, to, 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 to use the communication to start this communication and I just prepared from scratch actually uh, the, the, this, this, the firmware for this device and just a web server and uh, the TCP client and Wi-Fi manager and of course UART manager and the other stuff just listeners and stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna show you now what's going on with it of course on the board don't be scared too much there's a lot of cable because you know this device use 3.3 volt this device use 5 volts so I have to manage it going through between the I'm gonna show you how we speed it up uh, the development and why it's, it's it's been done so fast. Most important part is the, the, the thing in the middle. Just use the external CPU to to you know hijack some data going between those two devices. So I was able to sniff uh, everything is going through those two devices. So I were able to fast found uh, the bugs in the code and I was able to uh, fast uh, de deploy some changes on the on the functions and the, the modules so that why that's why at the beginning I was sure that I will do it in five days and actually I've done it in two days and what do we have in here we have a STC CPU in here and we have a ESP32 in here at the end this all this small chip will be get and put it in here this is the place where I want to put this small chip and this all will be nice covered by our uh, box. What do we have in here? Of course we have a, uh, the UART helper which just you know sniffing the communication between those two devices and we have a uh, Arduino uh, GUI because it's pretty simple I was using it and behind the Arduino is the, the front end of our server with the configuration and of course the, the upgrade why not just don't use uh, the over the air uh, update so I just build it in and uh, what else do we have we have of course serial communication in here from Arduino and the serial communication in here going from the CPU because this, this is the same page so when I'm trying to send the, the logs in here, I will use the, the special code. In, in such case, I will use 53. It's just, you know, hex. And if I will send this information, you will see in here that the logs will go through and it will be sent to the server. And we have the, uh, the, the, the log builder. It's just JSON. And then we are just starting the sending communication. We have a response from the server, 200, and okay, that's that's, that's nice. So I can, I'm, I'm able to to see the log on the server. All right. So uh, now we are using Kibana. Just you know, started our own server, and now you can see the logs, uh, how they they are going. And just I was testing it at night, and then in the morning I made some changes, and now I just started to send the communication. So you will see the update in here, uh, last send communication uh, from today. And of course you can see the, 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 the stacks are like uh, what exactly is going on on the devices and the other stuff. It's just, you know, JSON on table, doesn't matter uh, in here. Uh, and at the end, uh, you can just, you know, change this to review, to, to make some kind of views. Uh, of course, there is a lot of option in here. I'm not gonna show you an example because it just, you know, uses useless of uh, of uh, of Kibana.